day, students. I am Sir Dan, and I am your teacher in understanding society, culture, and politics. But before that, before we discuss our topic, let us pray. Let us bow our head and put ourselves in the presence of our Lord. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. How are you? I hope you're fine. Always remember to wear a face mask and face shield and observe social distancing. Our lesson for today is about social stratification. Before we discuss with our lesson, let us always remember our objectives. Number one, define social stratification. Number two, illustrate the concept of social stratification. Number three, value social stratification in the Philippines. In our previous lesson, we discuss about the types of authority. Can you enumerate the types of authority? Very good! The types of authority are the following. Traditional, charismatic, and legal rational authority. Before we discuss with our topic, let us have first our activity. And it is called, Four Picks, One Word. I will be presenting four pictures that corresponds to a word. You will guess the word using the clue. Okay, this is our first picture. What word is it? Correct. It is social. Let's proceed for another picture. So what word is it? Correct. It's stratification. Okay, our third picture corresponds of what word? Correct. It is society. This will be the last picture. What word is it? Correct. It is rank. Let's start our lesson with this activity and it is called Picture Comparison. I will be presenting two pictures showing the concept of social stratification. This is the picture. What can you say about this picture? The first picture shows the life of slums or informal settlers and they are living in a poor condition while the other picture shows wealth and comfortable living. Very good students! You are able to compare the two pictures. So let's now proceed to our topic. What is social stratification? Stratification is a hierarchy of positions with regards to economic production which influences the social rewards to those in the positions. The higher one's social class, the higher their levels of political participations and political influence. So ang ibig sabihin ng stratification ay ang mga tao na nakabatay sa mga different ranking na meron sila. Meron tayong higher class, middle class, and lower class. Sa lower class, ito yung mga mahihirap. At ito ang sa middle class naman, ito yung mga empleyado, yung nagtatrabaho. At in upper class, sila yung nagmamayari ng mga kumpanya. And now, let's proceed to the meaning and nature of social stratification. According to Light 1985, 
The ranking of the people is the essence of stratification. The division of the society into larger categories or strata of people who have an equal amounts of scare but desirable resources or rewards. According to Panopio 1989, social stratification is the hierarchical arrangement and establishment of social categories that may evolve into social groups together with the statuses and their corresponding roles. The elements have varying ranks of superiority and inferiority. For Melvin Tommen, social stratification as the arrangement of any social groups or society into hierarchy of positions that are unequal with regard to power, prosperity, social evaluation, and psychic gratification. While in Psychology Wikipedia, Social stratification is a sociological terms of the hierarchical arrangement of social classes, caste, and strata within a society. Let's proceed to the characteristic of social stratification. According to Melvin M. Tumin, Number 1. It is social. Stratification is social in the sense that does not represent inequality which are biologically based. It is true that factors such as strength, intelligence, age, sex can often serve as the basis on which status are distinguished. But such differences by themselves are not sufficient to explain why some statuses receive more power, property, and prestige than others. Number two, it is ancient. The stratification system is very old. Stratification was present even in a small wandering bands. Age and sex were the main criteria of stratification. Differences between the rich and poor, powerful and humble, free men and slaves was there in almost all the ancient civilization. Ever since the time of Plato and Cautilia, social philosophers have been deeply concerned with economic, social, political inequalities. Number three, it is universal. Social stratification is universal. Difference between rich and poor, the haves or have-nots, is evident everywhere. Even in the non-literate societies, stratification is very much present. Number four, it is diverse form. Social stratification has never been uniform in all societies. The ancient Roman society was stratified into two strata, the Pat Patricians and Pelebians. The Aryan societies was divided into Varnas, the Barmans, Kshatriyas, Vashayas, and the Sudras. The ancient Greek society into Primen and the Slaves. The ancient Chinese society into Madarians, Merchants, Farmers, and Soldiers. Class and state seems to be the general forms of stratification found in the modern world. And lastly, it is consequential. The stratification system has its own consequences. The most important, most desired, and often the scarcest things in human life are distributed unequally because of stratification. The system leads to two kinds of consequences life chances, and lifestyle. Bakit mahalaga ang stratification? Mahalaga ito dahil sila ay may mga tungkulin. Kagaya na nasa lower class, sila ang mga namumuhay sa simple, ngunit sila ay may mga kaangkop na mga mahihirap na trabaho. In the, in the middle class, sila ay may mga disenteng trabaho na pinapasweldo ng higher class. While the higher class, sila yung mga boss, o yung mga nagpapasweldo sa kanya-kanyang mga empleyado. Our second activity is called, Let's Draw! You will draw a simple concept of stratification in the Philippines. This is the example of an illustration of the concept of social stratification. Students, please answer these guide questions. Number one, how did you come up with the illustration? Number two, how can this illustration explain social stratification in the Philippines? Number three, 
what do you think is the importance of social stratification? Let's recall what you have learned. So what is social stratification? Very good. Social stratification is a hierarchy of position with regards to economic production with influences and social rewards to those in the position. Next, what is the characteristic of social stratification according to Melvin M. Tumin? Correct! The characteristics of social stratification are the following. Social, ancient, universal, diverse of forms, and consequential. As we all know, social stratification can be observed in different institutions within our society, for instance, in the government. In the government, some politicians use his or her influence to escape the punishment that they should face. They can use their money to escape such punishments. Now, let's apply what you've learned. You will provide situation or scenario that social stratification is present in the following institution. Number one, the school. Number two, the workplace or the company. Very good, students. Now you know what is social stratification. You did a great job. Are you ready for a short quiz? Get one each sheet of paper and answer the following. Test one. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Number one, stratification is social. Number two, in all societies, people differ from each other on the basis of their age, sex, and personal characteristics. Number three, human society is heterogeneous, not homogeneous. Number four, lower class who are the bottom of the social stratification have little opportunity to improve their situation. Number five, social stratification occurs in all levels of society. Let's proceed with the test two, enumeration. Enumerate what is asked or needed in the item. Give the characteristics of social stratification according to Melvin M. Tomin. For your assignment, watch, listen, or read any news articles that show social stratifications. Explain it and provide your own thoughts on the news articles. Write in the whole sheet of paper. Thank you for your active participation. See you in our next class.